Yes, yes. It was shot up in the photos. Super 15 champions. Okay. It's a pleasure seeing so many here. Uh, for this week. Um, we've got a lot. Pacific Detector Dog program has had years of success in the Pacific and Fiji is no exception since its establishment in 2015. The Fiji Detector Dog Unit has been quick to make its presence known with the high volume of trap seizures. Undeclared currency in the case of firearms and ammunition recorded over the last three year period. Their contribution to the overall perform uh, operations of the Fiji Police Force and the Revenue and Customs Service in the Eastern, Southern and Western Division has been immense. Since 2016, the Fiji Detector Dog Unit Joint Team has recorded seizures of illicit drugs, estimated to be worth more than $17 million. For the 2017 and 2018 period, more than $320,000 in currency has been seized, with one case of firearms also recorded during this period. With the seizure of drugs, may be estimated to be more than $17 million, but the social cost brought by the illicit trade is also staggering. According to the New Zealand Index, on calculating the social cost of $17 million seizure, having factored in the social cost of the user, the community health services and the economy the social cost is estimated to be worth more than $35 million. For any small Pacific economy, this is a worrying figure, considering our respective governments are already having to meet and cater the development needs of its people. And the traditional expenditure of a social burden brought on by criminal elements is sure to impact the development of any of our nations. It's imperative for us to find and use all possible means to step up our fight against drugs in the Pacific so that criminals from well-to-do economies are not given the opportunity to come in and exploit and profit from our people, further burdening our economies. The specialist support given through the Pacific Detector Dog Program through the Fiji Detector Dog Unit has had a major impact on our war against drugs. And Fiji is proud of its contribution in stemming the flow of illegal activities to our neighbors as quite a number of seizures were made at our borders and our coastal agency outlets. I believe this is the way forward for specific law enforcement agencies. Our resources may be limited, but partnerships such as this that exist with our New Zealand police and customs, we can capture international headlines and attention the world over through the successful conducts of raids, seizures and prosecutions that our respective detector dog units have already been. Basically just uh, all the countries coming together as a, uh, in terms of that relationship and building those relationships because for me if we can build those relationships the intel sharing across the Pacific will probably be a lot better. The New Zealand Police Dog Section give, um, we supply the dogs, uh, we have a big breeding program back in New Zealand, uh, we supply obviously our German Shepherd breeding to our, our, home, our, our staff at home but we also supply them with their Labradors here. Uh, and then we, we bring them to New Zealand for training uh, and then the dogs come back to the countries. Um, so in the country we've got Tonga, Fiji, Samoa and the Cooks. Um, and then we do regular visits here to make sure that the dogs are performing as they should be. So they get certifications every year um, and regular training because I, I often say it's like the All Blacks. Why are the All Blacks so good? Because they train a lot. And that's, that's what I've just, the message I've just given to the guys in there is you need to be training. If you train well, you'll deploy well and you'll be successful.